Heading uh, downstairs to the first floor, which is above the parking deck, and we are now going to head over to the ice rink and the parks court and make our way over there. This this area right here was one of the first places open. This little hallway that I'm going down um, when it when the mall was first open. This was available but only on the first floor and of course it was empty because they only uh, the, 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 the company was the place was very limited open opening uh, here's a new business the American Dream Recruiting Center so if you are looking for a job I urge you to come on out to the American Dream uh, this is a new place it's going to open but it's on the Parks Court level through the escape game so, and, well, you, I guess. I don't know what that is. The color of you, I'm not sure what, what it is. Maybe it's CBD or something. And there's going to be a new uh, gelato experience. Luciano's Diamond Fire is now here. Uh, I think Mac is already here, so. We are now on the first floor. The Oz Pets, Oz Paws is still here. I may have mistakenly suggested that it wasn't here, but it is here. Here's a new store. I don't know what it is. I guess it hasn't really opened yet. Uh, it's over next to Candle Time. Okay, now we are walking along. Um, on the bottom floor of the ice rink, you can kind of get a sense of how much empty is upstairs. Uh, on this hallway, there's just it's just empty. Uh, here's the water park, which I will. I'm gonna go up to it. It's actually very hard to see in the water park now. They've really. They really splash the windows pretty tightly, but it appears that the hot tub is operating. Um, it's it looks pretty crowded, as you can see. You know, this fair amount of people. I mean, this glass used to be completely open, so you could you could actually see what was going on, and now it's really uh, very much frosted. But it does look like the water park has uh, really uh, really done some business, let's put it that way. So here we are, Rosetta Bakery is open. I believe this was open last time I was here. Um, and if it wasn't, it was about to open. I maybe got a picture through the door. Uh, Wetzel's Pretzels, I think that was here. So here is Luciano's Gelato. I mean, they were advertising this for a while. And then this is, uh, this is a place called Pets. And then here's something graphics. There's Pick. Pick was here. DreamWorks Water Park uh, Shop is here. And then, of course, Toys R Us. It's Sugar. It's right around the corner, which was one of the first places. And then there's a Squiggle Pen store. Um, Toys R Us has this giant thing where they're showing Jeffrey walking through an airport and traveling. They're showing him go around the world. Um, all right, so we're headed towards the water park. Uh, I want to go check this out. I kind of want to walk downstairs and I don't know. I don't think they're going to let me, but this is the DreamWorks water park. As you can see, they did paint a lot, so it's very hard to see in. So now they have penny presses for Shrek and how much is their penny press? Uh, doesn't really say. Let's see. 
choose four designs. One ninety nine. And it appears that in this penny press, you don't have to. Uh, Can I go downstairs? Uh, it's not that purchasing a ticket, sir. Okay. It's hard to see. Nope. So, I'm not allowed to go downstairs. I saw one of the guys, one of the guys got in there, I think Action Kid, but, you know, he probably said, hey, I'm Action Kid, and they said, okay. So, So we are at Nickelodeon. Um, they now took this overhang here and they turned it into Birthday Party Central. You can kind of get a look at, you know, but the overlook is, when I first came, you were allowed to overlook this, but now that's the birthday party room. You can see that's where they have the birthday parties. Wow, this is some party. So, and look at that giant wall of Nickelodeon. So. And every time I'm here, I always have to take a look at this wall. It really is cool. So I'm going to pause here and take a look.